Greetings, Summit Church. It is a warm, at least in Fort Wayne, Indiana, a very hot, not warm, hot Tuesday afternoon, but I love it. Got my peach berry jasmine tea with, uh, actually it's strawberry lemonade slash peach berry jasmine. I made it myself, I must say. Perfect for a day like today. Just want to shout out to you something that I uh, have on my heart, some nuggets, give you a bit of a word study today from Matthew chapter 28, verse 19. The scripture says to go, therefore, Jesus said, go, therefore, make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. I used to look at this verse wrong. For many, many years, most of the years of my ministry, actually, I looked at it wrong. Recently, I discovered that the word go here is actually passive. And then make disciples is the active verb, the only active verb in this verse. I used to look at it like, hey, go, go into all the world, go preach, go teach, go, go make disciples. Let's, 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 let's go. Everybody go. And, uh, the emphasis was always on that go, the way I heard it, the way I was taught, and the way that I taught it myself. However, recently I discovered that go is actually passive. So the focus and the emphasis in this verse and what God is emphasizing here is the making of the disciples, not the going, because everybody's going. So whatever we do, we're going, whether you're a factory worker, whether you're a manager, whether you are a business owner, whether you are a student, school teacher, post office worker, we're all going. As a pastor, we're all going. And this verse is not for uh, somebody in a foreign country, because see, missions we think about missions, we usually think about a, a foreign country, but actually missions work is, this verse is missions, and everybody is to do missions because to go and make disciples is the mission. So missions is wherever you are. It's not some foreign place. It's not overseas. Missions is wherever the Lord has placed you, wherever God has called you to be, it is the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. So back to this verse, what is it saying, Pastor? It's saying that as we go throughout our daily lives, whether you are, a, again, a business owner or a factory worker or whatever you're doing, manager, we need to change our mindset, our mentality. The mentality shouldn't be, I do missions, uh, and also, I work at the bank, or I'm a student and I do outreach. Our mentality should be, while I'm a student, I do outreach. While I'm a manager, I do outreach. While I'm a business owner, I do missions. While I'm a school teacher, I do missions. While I work at the post office, I do outreach. So as we go throughout our daily lives, we should make disciples because we're all going. So the, again, to recap, the emphasis in this verse is not going because we're all going. The emphasis is as we go, as you and I, as we do what we do, make disciples. Let's bring the gospel of Jesus to people help people come into the saving knowledge of Jesus and then help them grow in the things of God. That's what we're doing through our winning groups and throughout our daily lives. We're helping people and building them up. All right. And in closing, just want to say, I appreciate the effort of you getting on the city, engaging, making friends and getting involved because you're making it happen. The city is successful today because of you. Have a wonderful day. Be blessed. You win.